Hi again, this is Renee from Floating Lights Photography. You're watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays, and today I'm going to show you how to remove an unwanted object from a photo. So here's an image I've posted a few times now, and this isn't what it looked like originally. Originally there was this big, ugly lamppost in the background here. I'm going to show you the original. So here it is. So this is the object we want to remove from the photo today. I'm not going to get into the coloring or how I edited the image so much, but we are going to remove this lamppost. So the first thing you're going to do always is make a duplicate layer of the background image. And you do that because if you mess up or if there's an error or if you don't like the way it looks, it's easy to just delete that layer rather than go up to edit and undo. So it's just easier to have a duplicated layer to play on and um, that way if you do make any mistakes you can just chirp it and start again. So we've duplicated the background layer and we're gonna use the clone stamp for this photo. So a lot of people don't know how to use the clone stamp and we're gonna go over that today. So from your drop down list or your tools list you're gonna select this clone stamp tool and we want to remove this portion of the lamppost and this portion of the lights on the lamppost. So the first thing you're going to do is adjust the size of your stamp to cover the part of the image that you want to replace. So I want to replace this whole pole so I want to make sure that my stamp covers at least the size of the pole and maybe a little bit more. The next thing you're going to do is hold down the option or the alt button and a little bullseye is going to come up and that's asking you to select a portion of the image that you want to transfer over onto your stamp. So I'm going to start here and select this. So with my Alt Option button held down, I'm going to click my mouse and it's copied that portion of the image onto my stamp. So now I want to move my stamp over to this part of the photo and hit the mouse and it's placing the stamp over top of where I'm telling it to place it. So again, I'm gonna select another part of the photo to copy to my stamp, and I'm going to place it over my lamppost. And again, and again. One of the things I learned really early on, I was, I was happy that someone had told me this, but um, repetitiveness draws the eye. So you really need to make sure that you're selecting different parts of the image to copy over and not just one spot and then copying it up and down, up and down. You want it to look natural and repetitiveness does not look natural. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by repetitiveness in just a second. I'm just gonna finish copying this over. So you can see I'm just grabbing a little bit all around it so that it's pulling different parts of the image um, to the stamp to cover up. So that is perfect. So re by repetitiveness, I mean if I were to copy this leaf down here and then place it 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 here, it looks very repetitive and it makes you think that's not natural, right? It draws your eye to that and you don't, it's not believable, it's not um, realistic. So going back to the original, I really advise you not to do that. You're going to want to select different parts of the photo and really make it believable. And one final note is that the one thing that does confuse people about the clone stamp is once you've selected your target point, it's going to move everything around that where you move your mouse. So if I select his pants here and I move them over here, that's my starting point for my target. So if I place them here and then move my mouse up, it's going to start copying his whole self. So that is confusing to some. I hope it's not confusing to you. So again, where your target is, is the start point of your stamp. So we're going to do this photo as well. So again, here is a nice lovely wedding couple and they have this big sign in the background which really is distracting from the photo. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to use my clone stamp. I'm going to duplicate my background layer and I'm going to target and stamp, target and stamp, target and stamp, and target and stamp. And you can do this for horizons, you can do it for everything. It will really make your photo look 
realistic. So I'm gonna show you the before and after of both photos. So here is before with the sign in the background and here is the after. And same with this photo here. Here is the before with the poll and here's the after. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.